as the car enthusiast, model enthusiast, I always change it. You know, I wake up at midnight and say, you know what, let's do this. Or I'll see something. <laughs> you know what we should do this like let's put that on hold and change it so when it comes to your uh your arsenal of releases when it comes to mini gt or tsm uh models there seems to be a nice unique mix between the makes and models that release uh, i'm curious to know how does how do you as director figure out or maybe with your team figure out what the best way to release the make and model coming up next like how do you know what's gonna be next in the pipeline do you guys just have like a huge list and you just kind of go one by one or do you is there some market uh addition that comes into play for deciding what comes out how does that work well i mean it's not as a, a, a big science as everybody might think sure. it's um sure. it's a mix a little bit of course we have a, a general direction but mm -hmm. as a car enthusiast, model enthusiast, I always change it. You know, I wake up at midnight and say, you know what, let's do this. Or I'll see something. <laughs> you know what, we should do this. Like, let's put that on hold and change it. So, so the point doesn't really cut like more of those folders just sits there. In case we have no idea, then we follow the plan. But, the plan. Right. but most of the time, I would say 70%, I would just keep changing them. But I like it because um, one thing I there there's two message I, I I try to deliver to the collectors through through my range. One is um, I'm a part of it, just like all this. Oh yes, you know yes. I I love sometimes well, friends who knows me better they know in my company I normally allow myself to make three to five projects that. <laughs> a little bit privileged as the owner of the company that just sort of, <laughs> sure. you know, throw the business case out of it. I want it, let's make it and see what happened, kind of. Mm -hmm. But I feel mm -hmm. that puts me in the position can communicate with the collective better because they, of course, this is a business, but at the same time, I'm not a businessman just trying to sell you product and product and product. Mm -hmm. And no, I mean, I, and another thing is for the years experience, even for myself, I, I constantly change tapes of the car. Like when I started, I only like Porsche and vintage Porsche. Then I learned about Formula One. And and, mm -hmm. and I, I fall in love with classic Formula One where we become good friends with Lotus and Turrell families. Then mm -hmm. I learned about Rolls Royce where they had custom coach built body. And as I realized, oh, back then, Rolls Royce, you you get a chassis and that's it, and then you take it to the the, the bodybuilder, and they will build you the custom body. Uh -huh. that I need hunting yeah. Rolls Royce, and and, and and my taste changes. So when I when I put together the collections, I I want to offer um, collectors different type of cars. I want them to experience something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. You know, it may not be your cup of tea. You don't need you know hundred model of this type of car. But it's nice to have a few because it's actually quite cute or interesting or or, or background history behind it, and 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 will will enhance or change um, their relationship, how they see car, how they like cars. So sometimes um, I collectors say, "Hey, Glenn, there's too many models. I cannot buy them all." And I was like, "No, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I I mean, thank you, but my goal is not." Yeah. Not the intention is not for you to buy every single item number. It's uh -huh. I want to offer people a big variety, and then from that variety, you can assemble your own collections. Kind of like, oh, I only do you know like American car muscle cars, or I only Correct. do endurance great car, or only do open wheel. What's this? You know, then then you can have your unique collections. So it's not just model car. It's you know for collector to learn more about car. No. Uh, 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 as a as a science and history, so I will spontaneously just keep changing things, and, and otherwise, I, I often tell my friends like when we start mini GT. I mean, yes, we do a lot of liberty walk, but I can make even more liberty walk if I want. But why? <laughs> why I make a Bentley in the middle of you know liberty walk? Because we try to. We are already right. setting that up for future, like. We want to make semi trucks. We want to make vans. Or mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think offering that variety is maybe what keeps Mini GT very, very active in terms of the product offering. Because I think like some brands are out there, they will milk the cast. They'll make the same thing over and over and over, different color, different livery, things like this. But I think when it comes to Mini GT, the product offering is a good mix that may appeal to a general audience. And like you mentioned, it gives people an opportunity to experience for themselves some of the other types of makes, models, and styles that might exist out there. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,